Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris here. Um, I'm going to try to do this video quick and uh, as quietly as possible. My son is sleeping in the next room. It's his nap time. So I decided to, uh, while I have this moment, do a quick video for you guys. And what it is about is some stuff that I picked up um, in the city. It was on the Wednesday of the first week of August, which was at New Comic Book Day. First off, I want to tell you guys, the comic book lottery, you know, I got it kick-started. Uh, it's going awesome now. We've got entries coming in. Uh, thank you, everybody, who's, you know, contributing and who um, is supporting it. Uh, hopefully, a lot of people can get your entries in. We're going to build up the money. We're going to get somebody in our comic book community here. Really awesome comic book, um, and I just really want to pull it off. I think it's going to be really awesome. It's going to change things, and maybe we can... If it goes well, maybe it could be an annual event. I mean, if you spend, you know, a couple bucks <laughs> uh, in, in a comic book lottery a year, I think everybody's going to, you know, enjoy that. Maybe somebody's going to get a really, really awesome comic book. So we were in the city. We got some supplies and uh, a couple things for my wife. We mainly went there to um, shop for her. And we picked out some, you know, drapes for the living room and <laughs> things like that. Uh, but we stopped by the comic book shop and, and got some stuff. So first I'll show you what I got, uh, Logan. Uh, these are the things that uh, Mummy Nikki there bought for him. And it's this little robot, little transformer thing. It's not a transformer, but I think it's some kind of Japanese cartoon thing. But a couple of really cheap toys. And he, you know, transforms into... And also another toy, really cheap, it was only a couple of bucks. And this one was like four bucks and something. This was a uh, Witchblade, from a Witchblade uh, series, Ian, Ian uh, Nottingham. Uh, so from that. It's actually a pretty cool sculpt. I think it's uh, based on, I think it's based on Mike Choi's um, artwork. He did have another sword, but I don't know where Logan put that one. And there's actually like a little bit of Spider-Man... Alphagetti sauce on him. <laughs> he was playing with him while he was eating his Spider-Man spaghettis. Okay, so let's get on to some of the stuff I got. First, quickly, the comic book stuff, because it's only three. Uh, well, for myself, anyways. Um, the only issue that I picked up for new ones is uh, Spawn 222. And uh, haven't read it yet, but uh, enjoying Spawn. This cover of Spawn 222 is a parody of Amazing Spider-Man 316, which was drawn by Todd McFarlane. Okay, and two oldies. I got some commandies uh, to fill in a couple of the gaps on the lower sides there. So here's issue number 14. Commandy. Love the commandies. And uh, issue number 16. This one, now this, this was for my wife. Um, this is Twilight uh, Manga Book 2, which still covers the, it's just the second half of the, the first book, the Twilight. Um, so it's got a dust cover, just black on the inside. But it's, uh, you know, manga, manga art, but you can, you read it left to right like a regular, regular book. The dust covers for part one and part two, they actually go together. So this is the newest one she got. Uh, here's the old one. And uh, there you go. You put them together. And she picked this one up for um, her friend. This is um, yeah, big time, The Amazing Spider-Man. This is the one that collects issues 648 to 651. Um, you know, writing with Dan Slott and awesome art by Humberto Ramos. For the comic supplies, I uh, picked up a couple of these. I just picked up some stores, some you know individually bags and boards. So I picked up ten. Picked up some of these as well. These magazine sizes because um, I needed some magazines that I've, I rebagged a couple of them, and I'm going to be having another uh, magazine that I bought recently uh, coming in the mail. So I only bought a few bags individually, but then I did buy a whole because they didn't have any of the other boards individually. So I had to buy a whole bag of of the magazine boards by uh, Comic Defense. So 50, 50 uh, magazine size boards. Still trying to look for 
something for Treasury Size Edition. They didn't have any in the stores that I went to, uh, which was the two stores on 97th Ave in Edmonton. Um, they never had anything for the Treasury Editions. There are, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? M Mylars or uh, polypropylene bags for Treasuries. Um, as well as some other hard cases for them, but they didn't have them there, so I'm going to keep trying to search them because uh, that's really rare. I mean, and a lot of stores aren't holding those products for Treasury Editions because how rare is it that, you know, they're actually going to sell those those products, so it's hard to keep them in stock. Uh, might have to break down and order them online or something, which is going to be expensive. Um, okay, so what else should I show you guys? Oh, also, yeah, I'll show you the, the two that I did rebag. So I just needed, these were already in plastics, but I just rebagged them so they look just a lot nicer. Rebagged. And so that's the size of uh, uh, magazines that they will that they will hold. I don't know if you got the sizes here. Yeah, but uh, the boards are eight and a half by eleven, so magazines approximately approximately that size. And um, like uh, treasury editions are, are eleven by fourteen. Uh, by approximately a quarter inch thick, so you got to find something to fit that. Uh, let's see, so let's move on. I've already uh, bagged all these, but uh, some My Lights. I finally got some My Lights. These are My Light 2s. The only ones that they had at the store um, are the standards, 7 and a quarter by 10 and a half, which are the ones that I wanted. Um, and But these are 4 mil. And I know most people like getting the two mils, um, so that's the ones I was going to get, but here's here's uh, four mils, and I only got one pack, which was 50 of them, um, but they do really good. So, I, And my purpose um, for getting these is to just basically bag some of my, my old stuff, so I rebagged the Hulk um, and bagged the Luke Cage. You bake that one, and they do look good. So it's going to fit my bronze and silver books. So they, they do look really good. Um, my experience with them, I, I have to warm up to these, and I know they're usually a lot better for, for you know archiving and lasting longer. They are more expensive, but I do have to warm up to them because I do love my Ultra Pro uh, bags. I think those ones are awesome. Yes, you might have to replace them seven to ten years down the road, uh, but I really do like them. They, they fit snugly. Um, they have just enough, I don't know, stretch or give, not to really flatten your comic book. Um, but yeah, I still got to warm up to these. But they do seem to, f you know, fit the comic book, hold it snug. Um, I just know that a lot of people say that the four mils are a little more susceptible to cracking around the edges because they're more thick, more tough, so they don't have as much elasticity. So that's the only thing. So you have to be more careful with the edges, not to bang them too much, or you could crack them. But uh, yeah, so maybe eventually I'll get some two mils. But I want to know everybody out there who likes getting the the um, you know mylar's. What is your guys' experience with you know the mylar's? Why do you get the bags that you get? Which boards do you like getting for them as well? That's a big thing. Uh, but they do look great. They they help make the covers look really glossy. And I'll show you guys this. How to get backer boards. These are by uh, the same um, E Gerber company, half backs, and uh, they're silver size, which fits the the standard comic book uh, size bags here. So again, just meant it fits all my bronze, and then it'll fit the silvers as well. But they are different from a uh, like a comic defense board. So again, I want to know what you guys think of these. If you like these better, or you know something like a comic defense board. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see much of a difference. Um, they both kind of have one side that is a little smoother or shinier. I really like um, you know. Comp defense boards basically they go well with the ultra pros um, so you can see one side there's very shiny this one on the um, halfback is a little 
shinier, smoother too, but not as much. Um, slightly different kind of board, I think. Um, there's the backs. But uh, yeah, you probably can't see much difference on the camera. But uh, yeah. So I don't know what you guys like. I don't know, and the, the comic defense seem a little more rigid to me. I mean, and they say on the paper here, Oh, that they're 20, 24 mil thick uh, cardboard to ensure extra rigidity. But, I mean, how easy it is to flop this one um, versus, uh, you know, the comic hair. So, I just do like those those rigid boards from the comic defense. And these ones do seem a little more floppier. Like, here's here's a commandy. And you can see I have one of those halfbacks in there and how much it, it flops. Right? Me holding it on the edge. And, um... And then here's a, um, you know, spawn with a poly bag and, um, you know, and the, the comic hair. So you can tell a difference, actually, between which one is a little more rigid, I would hope so. So holding it on the edges, right? So there you go. So give me, give me your guys' thoughts on the, you know, the poly bags and the the uh, Mylars, because I do want to, I'm just getting into them, um, again, mostly just for my older stuff or expensive items, so I just want to try to get, you know, as much of your guys' thoughts on that as possible. And so the last store I went to uh, while I was in the city, we went to Michael's, which got a lot of, you know, it's a big art store, art and craft store, uh, got myself a couple more uh, art markers, brush tip, um, green and blue, but I, I actually, I gotta look at these things when I buy them more, because I actually wanted the, uh, the nibbed ends, they got a fine end here, and this is actually a brush end, um, so, oops, but, uh, yeah, very good, very good marker, so I just picked up couples, I don't have a project going on right now, but when I stop by, like, picking out a couple of colors that I might need eventually, so there's that, and then the last thing I got there was this, no, not the comic book, but the frame. Um, it is a comic book, um, comic book slash magazine um, frame. So, just for an example, I put in there my Wolverine number one, my uh, reader copy, which is very readable, but it's got water damage. That's why I got another one there. I got multiple copies of number one. Uh, but yeah, so it's uh, got a frame, so it has a space space in there so you can put the comic book or magazine um, and then frame it. Um, I'm going to be making um, like a matting around it, uh, maybe like some comic book panels, you know, um, strips that I'll be putting there and then eventually hang on the wall. I don't know if I'll put Wolverine in there. Um, I might just, yeah, you know, put this one in there, hang this on the wall and then change it out every, every uh, so often or whatever. Alright, so that's that, you guys. Again, please leave me all your comments and questions and help me out with the, uh, the Mylars and everything like that. I would really appreciate that. And, of course, I really, really would appreciate it if you guys go to the you know, comic book lottery video and contribute to it. I am looking forward so much to getting somebody a really awesome comic book in our community. And the draw date is supposed to be on September uh, 1st, so you have you know basically two months to get your entries in there. $5 per entry, enter as many times as you want, enter once a day, or enter, you know, 20 times a day, it doesn't matter, every $5 you put in will be an entry, and uh, to answer, I think it was Oddfellow's thoughts question now, um, how is the winner going to be picked, um, well, that I still haven't completely thought of, but it's going to be, you know, a random drawing, a pull of a hat, um, or, you know, something like that, maybe I'll put, uh, you know, make a, everybody's name on a piece of tinsel and every piece of tinsel I'll feed to a cat and whichever piece of tinsel comes up first will be the winner. I don't know, something like that, but I'll try to think of something really fun um, and innovative to try to come up with the, with the winner as well, but it will be a random drawing though. But, of course, the more entries you put in, the more times your name will be in there, the higher chances that you um, have of winning. Alright, so that's that, you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching and commenting and help me out with all my... Uh, uh, questions, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.